quick video today about how to install applications uh, on your Mac um, using the sort of old-fashioned way without using the Mac App Store. Um, so this is probably what a lot of you will be used to already. It's just going through your browser, finding a website that has an application that you want to install, downloading it and then installing it. Uh, it's a bit different on Mac uh, to Windows, so if you're used to Windows it might seem a bit different. So I'm just going to load up Safari here. It's giving me this little welcome video. This is the first time I will have loaded it up. Uh, so say I want a new browser, because I don't like Safari very much, and it's, I actually do, but for the example. Say I want to download Google Chrome then, so it's just another internet browser. If I go in here, click download Google Chrome, click download Chrome now, agree to the little conditions. Um, you see it will have zoomed up there, the little download. So here now I the downloads, I can see Google Chrome's downloading. Uh, it's got about a minute to go, so I'll wait for that minute to go, and then I'll come back. So I'm back, and Google Chrome is just finishing to download. Here we go, you can see it's finished downloading now, so it's up here. If I double click on this, the little DMG file it's called, a uh, .dmg, so this one's Google Chrome .dmg, it will say it's verifying, checking the volume, finishing. Uh, a window like this should pop up, um, just going to quickly clear this away and minimize this. A uh, window like this should appear, and you can see on your desktop um, there's a little sort of drive with a picture of Google Chrome, and it's called Google Chrome that's appeared. Uh, and you can see here that it's sort of indicating that I need to drag Google Chrome down into this. This is a sort of link to my applications folder um, on my Mac, uh, and this is. This is basically how you install any application when you're not using the Mac App Store on a Mac. All you need to do in the vast majority of cases um, is just pick up the icon like this um, from the DMG thing, which is what this is, uh, and just drag it into the Applications folder. Quite often they'll provide you a little link like this, I'll say copying to Applications. Uh, sometimes you might have to just find Applications folder yourself and then drag it across into Applications. Um, but that's pretty much all you need to do. Sometimes you will have a sort of old-fashioned installer. Um, I'll just show you, like, if I double-click on this, it brings me to back where I, where I was. That's all this thing on the desktop is. So now I've installed it, I can, in fact, right-click, eject, it will say, and then later on, if I want to delete that file, that's fine. I don't need it anymore. Um, so now if I go into Applications, uh, you can see here the Google Chrome, if I double click on Google Chrome, see, say it's an application you've downloaded from the internet, are you sure you want to open it? Yes. Just click open. Uh, and then it should just open like any other app. Uh, well, it's asking me for a few settings, do I want to make it my default browser, etc. So yeah, just start Google Chrome. And here you go, straight away. Uh, this is how you install apps uh, on, on a Mac using the old method without using the Mac App Store. So there you go.